Hi, my name is Ye Hung Chen. I'm with the University of California, San Francisco, Global Health Sciences. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create statistical weights for respondent-driven sampling data, or RDS data. This video is part of a series on analyzing behavioral surveillance data from surveys that use time location sampling or respondent-driven sampling. You will need to have two versions of the data, an RDSAT version of the data set, which we created in an earlier video, and a comma-separated value version of the data. Let's first open the RDSAT data file. This data set represents a sample of people who inject drugs, or PWID. Select Open New RDS and browse to the .rds file. To verify that the data file was opened successfully, check to see that the file name shown here is correct and that the variable names appear in the box labeled Data Included. Now, you'll need to run Analyze Partition on one of the variables. Depending on which variable you choose, the weights will be slightly different. For simplicity, we recommend running Analyze Partition on the outcome variable of interest, or on a demographic variable. Select Analyze Partition, select the HIV variable, select the right arrow, and select Analyze. Now, select File, Export Individualized Weights, and then provide a file name with a .txt extension. In this example, pwid underscore weights .txt. Let's double click on the file we just saved. The first column, RID, represents respondent IDs. The second column, HIV, represents the weights. Let's rename the ID variable so that it has the same name as the ID variable in the original data set. Let's also rename the weights variable to weights. Save and close the file. Now, let's open the weights file in Stata. It's a good idea to change the working directory so you don't have to type out the location of your files. To do this, choose File, select Change Working Directory, and then browse for the folder where your data files are located. Now, type in sheet using, and then the name of the weights file, pwid underscore weights.txt. This data output confirms that the data were loaded. Let's save the file in a Stata format. Type save pwid underscore weights.dta. Now, open the original data set in Stata. Type in sheet using, and then the name of the data set, pwid.csv, comma, clear. This data output confirms that the data were loaded. Let's type browse to take a quick look at the data. The ID variable is on the far left and is simply called ID. Let's close that. Now we're going to merge in the weights. Type merge, then m21, the name of the variable we're merging on, which in this example is ID, using, and then the file name for the weights, pwid underscore weights. This data output here shows that the merge was successful. You see under the row not matched that there were no individuals for whom the merge was not successful. Okay, let's type browse to make sure everything looks okay. Scroll to the right. We see that the weights are now in the data set. Let's close that and save the updated data set as a .dta file. Type save pwid.dta. This concludes the lesson on how to create statistical weights for respondent-driven sampling data, or RDS data. The next video will explain how to fit and interpret logistic regression models using RDS data. Thanks for watching.